it typically takes years of study and practice before a therapist becomes proficient in applying sensory integration theory. So what I'm going to do is uh, attempt the impossible by explaining to you uh, in a very brief video what sensory integration is all about. Uh, if you think of uh, the, the five senses that you would normally think about, uh, the visual, auditory, olfactory, gustatory, and tactile systems, uh, and then you add to that the vestibular and proprioceptive systems, uh, then you have the seven sensory systems that we typically refer to. Um, I think the first five are obvious, but the the sixth and seventh vestibular, if you think mostly it has to do with movement, so uh, it allows you to orient to where you are in space. And then the proprioceptive system, um, it has to do with heavy work and deep pressure, so um, body position, um, you get a lot of feedback about that. Now, one thing to know about sensory systems is that when you have input from your environment, that input can be inhibitory or it can be excitatory. In other words, it can have a calming effect or it can have uh, an, um, a hyping effect. And uh, so think, think about movement. If you are slowly rocking in a rocking chair, just back and forth, and it's rhythmic, it tends to uh, lower your arousal level. You may even fall asleep. But if you get in a, a race car, for instance, and you're zooming around, cutting corners and, and all those kinds of things, especially if you're not used to it, you're going to be much more alert and paying attention to everything. So you can go through all of the sensory systems uh, and, and look at inhibitory and excitatory inputs. Uh, proprioceptive uh, is really powerful because pretty much it's inhibitory and doesn't really have an excitatory component. It makes it great in therapy. Um, but uh, the, the one thing I want you to really get from this is what we're really going for with sensory integration therapy is we want to enhance our, our client's ability to orient to the right attention, orient their attention into the right place. Um, so they, you want them to pay attention to dangerous stimuli so that they can re retreat from it or react to it and you want them to pay attention to important stimuli so that they can they can learn from it or adapt from it or adapt to it and um, once you get that that idea then you start understanding what um, what a therapist is trying to do in sensory integration um, I will say that sensory integration has um, has its fans it's uh, a lot of parents, a lot of therapists believe in, in this approach. Um, you know, myself, uh, there are experiences I've had in therapy where I've seen the effects, and I believe um, that, um, that it does impact students in a powerful way. Uh, however, there are detractors who say that there's not really a strong basis in research for sensory integration. And I would say... Um, that's, that's true in one sense, uh, in that it's hard to measure success with sensory integration. That's really sort of been the Achilles heel to the theory. It's always been difficult to, uh, to, to document success, and there's been a lot of work in recent years on that. Um, however, if you back up a step and you look at the foundational science that sensory integration is based on, you find that that's really pretty solid. Um, no one really debates uh, that first example I gave you where um, uh, vestibular input can have a calming effect and it can have an excitatory effect. And, um, and no one really debates the fact that um, it's important for you to pay attention to dangerous stimuli in your environment or it really important uh, input from your environment and um, and and so that's really the you know the, the basis um, there are lots of different things that um, that can play into it and lots of different you know uh, 
avenues we could travel down and look at this, but um, that's kind of in a nutshell, and it's much longer than I wanted it to be. I was really aiming for two minutes. I see this. I already getting over five minutes, so I'm going to shut it down.